Well, geopolitics is influenced by sustainable development. Sustainable development is normally described as the three E's, and the first E is then the economy. And if you look back at the past 60, 70 years, we've seen an enormous growth in the economy worldwide, and, and, and we've seen a bigger inclusion of people in that globalized economy. And that's actually already part of the, the second E, which is the, 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 the equity and the, let's say the social part of, of social development. So more people are forming part of this worldwide economy, more people are becoming um, middle class instead of forming part of poverty. So in the next 20 years, the number of people worldwide forming part of the middle class will grow from 2 billion to 5 billion. And then if we look at the, the third E, that is the one we should be worried about. That is ecology, that is about climate change, that is, is about water, it's about food, it's about energy. And that will really, really have a huge impact on the geopolitics. You see that in, uh, if the food prices go up, you see that there's more revolutions taking place. You can just put it in a graph, people have done that. You can uh, look at a lack of water and um, how drought is a contr contributor to, to, um, uh, to, to instability in the world. And Syria is of course a well-known example, but there's many others um, that we can also look at. It. And it's very important now that the Swedish government has uh, made a lot of money available for research into these connections because we don't know enough about it yet. But we do know that this linkage that we already see will only become more important in the decades to come.